All right, guys, uh, we got a Chaos Tech profile for you guys. Uh, this is a, how we put this, co-opted production between Thor and Jordan. We're going to be going over Jordan's uh, deck. So it's, uh, what are we going with here? Snake and Equal Shadow production? Yeah, he's the condor. He has the, he's the bird. Okay. Well, there's no good kung fu movies that come that have condor. In. All right, well, no, I take that back. Operation Condor. The reason we're doing it co-op is Fuller wants to hide his bill. I just built mine today, and I don't know what's really going on, so he can explain the cards a little bit better. All right, so we're gonna start off with uh, his flag is obviously the chaos. It lets you play up to size 99, or size 30, so abilities can be nullified or, or it can be destroyed by effects. And his buddy monster is ruler of chaos, gear guard. Seven. Uh, so why is this your bet? Uh, because if you don't play that card, you're probably going to lose. <laughs> that's correct. That's true. Uh, this is the, the gear guard from the secret pack. He's paid two. Uh, he has chaos territory. He has a building called Chaos Drain, which says that he's going to be destroyed or removed from the field period. He's going to kill a size three or lower to keep him on board. And he, during each player's attack phase, you can call one chaos for free. It's 50,000 power, three crit, and 6,000 tensile so core. With that being the buddy, we play a total of five. I hope it's, Joe's supposed to be letting me know if it's on camera. I'm not sure. It's kind of borderline. Are we on camera right now? Yeah. Okay, we're good. So we play uh, obviously uh, four in the deck and one is the buddy, of course. What I mean by if you'll lose if you don't play that card. If you don't play it in a game, you're probably like, you yeah. Need we to draw that card. That's why you play searchers. We played a whole bunch of this match. The match of this morning, the mirror match, and you didn't see it a lot, and it kind of affected the outcome of our match. Put in another lost <laughs> So next we play the Gear God from the Trial Deck. This is the manufactured Havoc Gear God uh, 7. I forgot the number like off the top of my head that quick. <laughs> They're all 7, but I forgot to know. Uh, he's a 50,000, 2 crit, 5,000 uh, defense. When he is paid to, you can put up to any number of monsters. Or is it up to two? I think it's up to two monsters from the field into the soul. He has soul guard. When he enters the field, you can call a chaos from the drop zone by paying his cost. Um, what's another gear guard coming out? Is that going to be cut? Um, like two, two, I like, um, there's just so many loops with this, but, um, I feel like the only way we'd ever replace is whatever gear guard comes out of the next few sets that Chaos gets, it has to be taken out better. I mean, the promo is terrible, the one that's the box stopper. So, uh, cause you can set up combos, you can basically like, charge a card from your hand that you don't, you want, but you can know you can get it back with this, like an Osiris or the, I can't think of the night name, but that one too. Uh, Daryl? Daryl, Daryl Brick. Daryl Beak. Yeah, that one. Uh, solid card right now, just uh, four. If you have to play at least, I feel like eight gear gods, because I mean, this the whole deck runs with you having the size 30 on board. Uh, what do we have next here? So, this is my personal favorite, and I just like his name. I, it makes me feel like I'm rapping his name out loud. His, uh, what is this? This is the gear, Chaos Osiris. Why don't you make him your buddy? Because gear gods are better. But this guy. So, the mummy is a uh, mirror with his ability called the Ruler's Puppet. When he enters the left or right, if you have a monster in the center, you gain a gauge and draw a card. You know what me of? We were on me a TCG buzz. I like them two guys. They're pretty, oh, well, they're pretty dope. I like them. They're pretty cool guys. Yeah, adult, yeah I like them. Um, so he's a 5 1 3. So this guy is just your gauge and draw engine. Just keep it through your pieces, speeds up the deck. What's really nice is when you can do this and you call this on their turn and you just kind of draw into what you need off of their turn. You can also pay him. You can charge and draw using him and then pay the gauge for the gear guard and gear guard and then just call it out. Okay. So that's uh, Osiris we play four of, which is a dope card. Next one's uh, four of the card we were just talking about. This is Daryl Burke. Burke. Sounds like a real person. <laughs> <He does. laughs> Mr. Daryl Burke. He's a 7 2 3. I hate that name so freaking much. Oh my god. All right. well, well, Angus just takes the card. In the back ah. uh, so when this card, his effect is Warrior Instinct. When he enters the field, check top three, add one to hand, the rest go to the drop zone. Again, this is a way that you can fuel so you can charge it and then call off the gear god or you could just um, drop a uh, search and you're like man there's two cards I really want I'm gonna take this one I can get with the uh, gear god when he comes out yeah. this card just like it's slowing the deck but in my opinion you can play this in any dark journal deck I feel like this this uh, moves you through the stuff a lot it's almost just like a spell like it's a spell with a body on it it's just like scry three cards pick one and... I don't know if we talked about this but I said I wish this was I thought this should be an executioner since it kind of does what you need to but of course it's not but you and you couldn't even play it in there that would be Horribly broken for executioners. I take out banquet or one. Just play that card. So now we're gonna get some to. Yeah, we got four uh, chaos aquarium. 
Aquarius. Uh, gauge engine, uh, it's a 525. Um, when it enters the field, you gain gauge equal to all the other monsters besides it, so we can match you to be his three. Uh, I had a uh, three copy that was a drawing in and he just sets up a lot of plays. I like the card, uh, I mean, I'm trying to straighten up right here, I'm trying to get some stack mates. Well, I had it, but then, like, I realized when we were doing the co op, I wanted to show, like, the differences that we have some of the things in our deck that are different without me showing my actual deck right now. So, this is Chaos Aquarium. So this is uh, the cards that Jordan plays that I do not play, and I don't play any of the. I don't play none of this card, uh, the Ninja, which is Chaos Set, Set, Tetsu, Set, something like that. I thought he was pretty mediocre at first, but uh, I didn't know you get a gauge off him. So. Call on this card a card, gain a gauge, and draw another card. So it just cycles more cards. So what that means is just speed and cycling. Yeah. Uh, his, yeah, his is a little bit faster. Mine is built off of things that Jordan has shown me. Uh, and I watch some videos in Japan, which you know a lot of a lot of players do. Mine's kind of a mixture of it, but I'm still trying to find the correct one. Right now, my record, my win record is pretty decent. But I'm, uh, Jordan playing this, uh, I see some potential in it since you can get you basically gauge and draw, so you plus one off of it regardless. So um, I'm tempted to play this. I haven't made a decision yet, but I'm looking into it right now. So this is a, a little interesting one. This is the, if y'all don't know this, this is the tech card. This is the guy from the episode. This is a A5 gauge caller. He has penetrate, double tech, and like big three, and he's a 10 3 10. There was a funny uh, situation earlier today. Me and Jordan were playing, and he had nothing, and he paid the five gates to drop him and try to just cry himself afterwards on my next turn. Um, it was a, <laughs> this, yeah, paying the five gates. But with Gear Guide, you just basically get a, a free tank, basically, for free. So this card is pretty interesting. Um, I do not know whether it will be in my deck or not, but it seems to be working with Jordan so far, so, you know, we're going to see how that goes. Uh, this is like another version of that other guy. Uh, I'm like, I'm really I did terrible at this. Uh, next we have three of the best artwork I think on the set, in my opinion. Uh, this is Chaos Tartarus. So what's your feelings about Tartarus? Bro? If you pay his whole cost, it's pay on gauge, uh, top priority deck in the soul. He's a decent body, uh, he's got uh, what is it, four defense? Yes. Yeah. This card just kind of keeps you, let you play control basically, is what we're saying. Because we can call him on their turn and then interrupt their low, well, they're both already be off, but you know, stuff like that. Yeah. The little things they want. Two or three them, so yeah. uh, the biggest thing I like about it is this artwork is so nice. The big mouth, the chaos symbol inside of it. I think it's really dope. You play four? I think I play three right now. I was gonna sign deck the fourth in case I needed it, but I don't know for sure. But this is three Tartarus. What would you sign in the fourth copy? Like what deck? Um. So I'm gonna be honest with you. Against the Thunder Empire match, I probably would have this on board. I would actually not call this. I would not call, call it. I would do it so I could like respond to their globes and everything. Yeah, um, I don't know what decks really need right now in this format because like I said format, but you know like uh, meta, meta. There you go. Um, I can't. I think really honestly it would be like Darkness Dragon World period, and then I would make sure if I was going against Darkness Dragon World or something that was side and neck, 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 neck of balls. Yeah, I would definitely. Have more of this than that one for that one. What do you feel about that card? Um, it's cute. It's not annoying with the hard hitting yeah, question. Yeah, yeah, it's not. It's not that good in my opinion. Because the problem is like everything's on call. Osiris on call. Your Suketsu card that's on call. You can't blow up the the size. The gear god, and you can't blow up the really good three that we're about to get to in a second. I mean, you, the only thing else you could blow up is the this guy that the, the this guy, I mean, that's, like, like, dude, yeah. so play the, mirror match the, the mirror match is terrible. Like, that's, yeah. Uh, so that's it. And then this is the card I'm talking about. That I think it's the best card besides the Gear Gods in the whole deck. Uh, what is this guy's name? Chaos, all the Diablos. <laughs> Every time you play this card, this card. So for y'all that don't know what he does, he is a, he's a, he's a he, normally he's a 7-7-1. Seven, seven, a 7-1 seven, set, I'm sorry. 
Um, so when you, he's a three gig, he put top two cards into his soul and he's paid three gig. But if he enters by the uh, gear gods effect, he becomes, he has no soul, no nothing. When he has no soul at all, he becomes a plus two, plus two. So he's a nine, nine, and then he gets an extra crit, which is nine, two, nine. With triple tech, and he gains the chaos effect, basically, where he can be returned and nor destroyed by card effects. This card, I think, is the best card in the deck besides the gear gods. Well, monster wise, how about that? We'll do monster wise. Unless you think there's something else. Now there's some spe the spells in the deck are better. I will cut the deck be already, but I'm saying as monster wise, out of what we just went over, which is basically almost in every person's deck that plays this deck, I think this is the better one. A lot of the cards just have one function, which is like draw a card, get a card, like top three, just gets to your pieces. But this is what you're trying to get to, so I just think this is the better one. Like the whole point is to get to the gear god and to have a board. All right, well, that was uh, this monster lineup. Now we're going to hit to his spell lineup. Oh, wait, I lied. I just two more monsters. I messed up. I'm sorry. This is a uh, Chaos Garage. Yeah, so when he enters the left or right, if you have a monster center, destroy a monster. He's a 6 2 5. Um, so, yeah, so what he's talking about when you enter the attack phase, uh, Call with Gear mess up their attack formation. Card's pretty dope. Uh, this card is from the trial deck. It's okay right now, I think test wise. It kind of does what I needed to. Yeah, when more stuff comes out, I'll probably get cut. That's true. Alright, now we're test stuff. I'm sorry. Otherwise, I'm going to wreck you and you're not going to have any precious viewers. Sorry, uh, so. Alright, so Jordan plays three, launched the auto deity. This card lets you search for a 30 or a great. When it says, I love saying the greater, so maybe we'll get some bigger than the sizes later on. I want to see how they have plans for it. They're just setting themselves up for future. Well, yeah, that's it. You know. um, just nothing much to say. Just searches for your your piece that you need. Yeah. That's, that's, this is one of my favorite names. So one, this is the one who comes from Havoc. This is pay one day, draw two if you have two or more chaos. Again, this is just draw engine, getting pieces. Just that's basically all they got. Um, and then he plays two of the electrification, which is another kind of draw spell. Um, you only play if you have four or more. You gain a gauge, gain a life, and draw two. I want to play it at four, but I just like you have four guys on the board, and that becomes a really dead card if you don't have four guys. So. Uh, no, I do agree with you. In the situation, I've had the same issue. Um, the four is really an issue because then that means you have to like call something you don't want to. Like you wanted to call for the attack phase, you have to waste it just. To, but I mean, you do plus four basically. Plus three, because you lose this card. Oh, okay, okay. Well, plus you're only gaining a life, so I guess. So you gain two. a life, gain a gauge, and draw two. Plus two. Plus two, plus two, okay. Uh, so that's it for his draw. So this is another thing that me and Jordan play differently. So here is that I, I play a total of eight shields. Jordan prefers only four. And he chooses the blue dragon shield copy that says you only can cast it if you have two or uh, more chaos on the board. You gain a gauge and nullify the attack. So why would we play four over playing the standard eight since that new shield that he's been going with it? I just felt like I was drawing shields but no monsters. You have to have monsters and attack for your combo to go off. So like, I can block attack all day, but I can't do anything in return. Like, like, I'll probably test the more shields again. I do! Most decks in the game are now just playing the four or the two or. Uh, good reason from Kong. Um, and now we come to the uh, final four, well, the final card, and we play four of it, which I kind of like. is the Ruler's Privilege. This card lets you, first you only get played if you have three or more cards on board. You get two effects to counter it to stand of size three or greater, or you get to add any card, any card at all you want from your drop onto your hand. Alright, it can also be a dead card, so you just like you top deck it when you have nothing, which kind of sucks. It can also it can just win you the game by restanding uh, uh, Gear God or anything that has a high crit and you just swing in for game or just get your karma piece. One thing I like, and this was last week with another guy that's here that I love, was he was playing only Assassin. Mm -hmm. He snake gazed my Diablo before I even attacked with it, and I responded with this. So I get to re he wasted a life, wasted his snake gaze, and I got to stand in triple attack him with with a two crit Diablo. Yeah. Very strong. But um that seems to be it. We're, and this is the wrap up for Week of Chaos with this deck profile. Um stay tuned for more. Um and that's it. The sponsor.
Sponsored by the Mamba Productions and Condor. And Condor. Condor Incorporated. <laughs>